Welcome back all you beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. And if it's your first time here, welcome. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure to do that now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in today's video, I'm actually gonna share with you a recipe that I tried for the first time last Thanksgiving. And I actually brought it back out because we um, went to the supermarket and we noticed there was no chicken, no pork chops, nothing hamburger meat they were all out the one thing we did find was a turkey and at first i was like mm, to prepare a whole turkey i mean there's <laughs> only two of us i mean that's gonna last us like the entire isolation time what was really cool is right next to it we saw the little butter ball that's just the turkey breast so i pulled out this recipe and i thought why not share it with all of you honestly i remember feeling nervous at the supermarket when I didn't think we'd have chicken. I mean, they were running low on eggs too. It was the first time I tried brown eggs, thanks to quarantine 2020. And I will say, they're good. Mm -hmm. So this was a really cool alternative for not finding any chicken. Grab some turkey. Honestly, it's a quick little simple recipe. It's nothing fussy, nothing fancy. We enjoyed it. I wanted to share it and pass it on to you guys. So let's go. First, you'll need a turkey, black pepper, rosemary, thyme, sage, bay leaves, lemon, and butter. You'll need a pan, avocado oil, a turkey baster, and silicone baster. You'll need a microwavable bowl and measuring spoons. Let's start with the herb butter. First, you're gonna unwrap the butter, put it into the microwavable bowl, and take one and a half teaspoons of each the rosemary, thyme, and sage. Then you're gonna ground some fresh black pepper. You'll put that into the microwave for 30 seconds. And voila, there's your herb butter. You're gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Let's spray the pan and get that turkey into that pan. You're gonna generously put the herb butter all over the turkey. You're gonna wanna leave some of the herb butter left over for later and we'll get back to that in a second. Get in all the grooves, all the nooks and crannies. Next, you'll add some bay leaves and squeeze some lemon onto the turkey as well. It does wonders for flavoring. You wanna make sure you get underneath as well. Now we'll put the turkey in the oven and set it for two hours. When you get to that halfway point, when it's about an hour into cooking, you wanna take the turkey out and remember that herb butter I said to save for later? We're gonna take that and baste the turkey with it, put it all around so it can continue cooking for the final hour. In the meantime, let's get started on the gravy. Empty the contents into a measuring cup, add some water and make it equal one and a half cups. You're gonna pour that into a pot. We can simultaneously work on the gravy and the vegetables on the stove now. You wanna keep stirring the gravy until it boils. Stir those vegetables. Once the gravy's boiling, you can always test it by scooping some up. All done. Speaking of all done, look at that turkey. Yummy. You will let it rest on the countertop. And in the meantime, we're gonna wash those potatoes, give them a nice good scrub down. Scrub, scrub, scrub. You can put them on top of a sheet and make sure to poke some holes into them before putting them in the oven. You can bake them for about 40 minutes to an hour. Remove that turkey net and you're all done. Look at that. Drizzle some of that gravy on there, and then you can even add some mixed cheese and sour cream to your baked potato and you're all set. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this fun little video. And I actually hope you enjoyed the food even more. <laughs> Put a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed the recipe. I'll try this out at home and let me know what you think about it. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time. Bye. Okay. Today's video, that makes no sense. <laughs>